Hi everyone, today we are talking about how to take a PDF and create it into a format where students can type into text boxes instead of creating their own text boxes. I've heard that in Seesaw, kids create their own text boxes over their PDFs and they can get a little bit wonky. So today I'm going to show you how to take a PDF, which I have right here, I have math enrichment, and what I'm going to do is first take a screenshot of the PDF I want students um, to write on. And for this example, I want to do pages one and two for the students. So I'm just going to screenshot them and drag them onto my desktop so I know where they are. And then what I'm going to do to make it simple for them is open up a Google slideshow. And in the slideshow, I'm going to put the PDF. So as you'll see, the slides are usually landscape version, but I am going to go to file page setup and I'm going to change from widescreen to custom and I'll make it eight and a half by 11, which is the same as a worksheet. So I'll apply that, you'll see it'll flip it. Then what I want to do is get my screenshot in here. Um, typically my instinct would be to drag it in. Um, but that would mean that it would just be an image that students could move around and I don't want them to move it around. So I'm going to make it a background. So I go to background, choose image, and then I drag it in. And when I do that, click done, um, it is locked in. Now you'll see the template of the slides is on there. So I'm just going to delete the template text boxes. So now I have my first slide is my PDF. Now I can add text boxes for the students to type in. So if I want them to complete this chart, I can add a text box and maybe type click here to type. And then the students will know that that is where they can edit the document. Um, another way to do it is to create your text box and then maybe fill it in with your paint bucket with a light color. And then that will visually tell them that they need to fill in that blank. Um, if I wanted to add the second page, I can add a new slide with the plus sign. Again, I can delete the template text boxes just to make this a clean slide. And then again, my instinct is to drag that in, but we don't want to do that. We want to go to background, choose image, then drag in my screenshot of page two, click done, and again, grab a text box and make text boxes wherever I want the students to type. And again, I'll fill it in with a color. Now, just like on a regular worksheet, if the kids run out of space, um, we would say, just write on the back of your paper. Well, in this format, I can actually make a text box on the side of the paper and have them um, use this click here to type if you need more space. Um, so that just gives them an option to overflow. Once you do this in Google Slides, if you're using Google Classroom, you can shoot it out to your class and they'd each get a fresh copy and then they'll know exactly where to type their text and you won't have to worry about the wonky um, sized text boxes in Seesaw. Um, if you'd like to put your heads together, please let me know. I'd love to work on this with you. Have a great day.